Hey, what is up guys? My name is Eterno and welcome to the third episode of my morning coffee series. Today we're going to cover the rest of the numeric variables, long, float and double. Now we're getting into variables that are, to put simply, huge. The long variable contains an integer that has the minimum value of negative 9.2 quintillion and a maximum value of 9.2 quintillion. In order to use the declared integer as a long, an L is appended to the end of the declaration. But wait, if you think that's huge, wait till you see the next two. Float is the first number variable so far to be able to contain decimal values. It contains anything from negative 1.4 e negative 45 to roughly 3.4 e38, a number that is 39 digits long. Float is mainly used only when it's needed, which is usually not very often. OpenGL and similar graphics libraries mainly use floats for calculations and rendering. To indicate a float being declared, the letter F is usually inserted at the end of the declaration. Simply putting a decimal point and a digit at the end indicates that the format is a double, not a float, which is why the F is needed. Double is the last number variable on our list, and it's absolutely huge. It ranges from negative 4.9 E negative 324 to about 1.79 E 308. Yeah, that's right. Maximum value being 309 digits long. If you come up with a number larger than that that you wish to use, let me know. A point zero or a decimal point must be inserted into a double declaration to ensure that it's used as a double, not an integer. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Morning Coffee. I'll be back tomorrow covering the rest of the variables in Java. Car, Boolean, and String. Until then, goodbye.